capitalism isn't the source of slavery. Marxism is the source of slavery. Fascism is the source of slavery. That is, non-constitutional, non-little r Republican forms of government. Those are the sources of slavery. There are movements afoot, and they are big movements that are sort of under the radar for most people, the general public, and that's their intention. They call uh, racist capitalism. Racist capitalism? Capitalism is about individual abilities and freedom and volunteerism, that is, activities that you take on your own to purchase things. They say it is racist, and these are now Marxists. So the Democrat Party has now flipped into a Marxist, a racist in its own way, party. Uh, and it does that because it is trying to affect the demographics in the country, but its Marxist views now are that capitalism is racist, that the whole country was built on white-dominated racism. From uh, the South to the White House to the North, capitalism is a racist economic system that enslaves people. And I got to thinking, really? Is that what they have in North Korea, capitalism? Is that what they have in China? No, it's state-run economy. It's not capitalism. How about Iran? How about Cuba? How about Venezuela? Capitalism isn't the source of slavery. Marxism is the source of slavery. Fascism is the source of slavery. That is, non-constitutional, non-little r Republican forms of government. Those are the sources of slavery. In fact, as I explain in the book, and this is very, very important, 25% of the population in the South could afford to own slaves. That is, three-fourths did not, could not, and were relatively poor. There were little pockets of slavery, believe it or not, in the North, but there were. In places like Delaware and Maryland, very few other places here and there. But the North, by tenfold, was a far more industrially advanced economy than the South. By tenfold. So how could slavery have built the United States if most of the industry was in the North? It didn't. That's not to say that slaves didn't contribute to our economy. Of course they did. But they didn't build the Industrial Revolution. They didn't build the capitalist system. They weren't enslaved by capitalists and so forth and so on. So this is the Marxism element that is fused with the racism element because they're pushing a Marxist racist agenda, which Biden has bought off on completely 100%. And the people around him have bought off completely 100%. Do you remember the argument from the radical left and the Democrats used to be, capitalism cannot provide for everybody. So people are going hungry. And the argument today is what? The opposite. Capitalism creates too much wealth. America has 3, 4, 5% of the world's population, 25% of the resources. Capitalism is too greedy. Capitalism creates too much wealth. What we need to do is redistribute that wealth and make America poor so there's more for the rest of the world. Now think about that. Make America poor, that is, make you less prosperous, make you suffer, change your lifestyle. That's exactly what's going on with climate change. The Democrat Party is behind it all because the Democrat Party ultimately hates you, hates America, hates the founding, hates it. They don't say positive things about this country, the founding, the Constitution, or the Declaration. They were perfectly happy when monuments were being pulled down, perfectly happy when the Supreme Court's under attack, because they led that attack, perfectly happy when they try and get rid of separation of powers, perfectly happy with censoring your free speech and throwing people in jail who protest, even peacefully, in front of abortion clinics. That's your Democrat Party. But it's even worse. The Democrat Party now is monitoring you. It is opening data and files on you. The FBI the other day said, oops, we have one million mistakes. Do you remember that? One, uh, we're sorry. 
Out of the 3.5 million people we were monitoring, 1 million we did so erroneously. What? You're monitoring 3.5 million people and 1 million erroneously? One day story, off it went. It's like the Twitter files. The FBI, the Department of Homeland Security, the White House, Adam Schiff, other congressional Democrats were all involved in censoring you, in censoring experts they disagreed with, in censoring the Republican Party, in removing Donald Trump from Twitter. This is a public site, but it was controlled by the Democrat Party. Elon Musk used to be a big fan among Democrats. Now they hate him because he bought Twitter and he exposed what's taking place. Well, I've been rambling here, really, but let me just tell you something. Everything that's going on today, somebody's behind it, a group's behind it. These things don't just happen. When you're violating the law and claiming to enforce the law, when you are violating our immigration system and claiming everything is fine, when you are undermining our Constitution, whether you're trying to change the vote nationally, that's all discussed in the book. When you're undermining our Constitution, trashing the Supreme Court when you don't agree with it, trying to stuff more members on there, and they're not done with that, well, then you hate the country. And the list is a long one. Uh, whether it's brainwashing in our classrooms with CRT and, and really sexual perversion, little kids uh, putting books on shelves that are pornographic, you saw what happened over the weekend, Pride Week or Weekend, whatever they called it, the grotesque displays that were taking place in front of little kids. I thought, wow, we're dead. We have no morality. We have no ethics. And by the way, this isn't just about straight couples. There's plenty of gay couples who were completely disgusted with what they saw too. Disgusted. Just because people are gay, and I've had them call my program, doesn't mean they support the, the raunchy stuff that's going on in classrooms or going on uh, in the streets. They have children, too, that they've adopted, and they try in many cases, in most cases, to raise them properly. They don't want this either. They don't want sexualizing either, and they don't like this being used in their name. Now, maybe they're in the minority. These are people who've called my show, but I suspect they're not. But I also suspect they can't speak out. There's just too many of these groups that are all from the fringes. Want to see more Mark Levin? Go to levintv.com and subscribe now.